we also have 1,419 health posts. The mover of the motion is seeking to cure some nuisance. And that is the inconvenience that people may be getting each time they are feeling unwell to get express attention from the medical facilities. Mr. Speaker, this motion leaves me very baffled. Baffled in the sense that this government is not the first government in this republic. 58 years down the line, we have been operating even in times when there's an epidemic such as cholera, such there are certain centers that will remain open 24 seven to attend to that particular jurisdiction that has been hit or attacked. I'm failing, I've looked very high and low what the member of parliament for Kamfinsa is trying to cure, which nuisance is trying to cure by bringing such a motion which his very government, PF, failed to bring in 10 years. I think we must learn to be fair with one another and stop adventure by misadventure. Bringing things here like banging an open door. Mr. Speaker, give me one area where you have heard of someone who has died because they have a slight headache. That's where there are referral hospitals. I want the, the member of parliament for Kamfinsa to understand in debating this motion, what we, the practical thing that we are doing in order to try and resolve and address the issue that is concerned with. Today, 2022, Mr. Speaker, we still have our girl children, mothers still delivering away from the facility of maternity uh, provisions. Right or wrong? There are people who deliver their children away from facilities. What we are doing under our Constituent Development Fund is that we've given ourselves a target. And I want you, Honorable Member of Parliament for Kampinsa, and all the other members who are thinking like you, who I suppose will stop thinking like you once I'm done with this short discourse, to agree with us that our target of 2024 year end, that there's no social growth point, meaning where there's a local court, where there's a primary school, where there's a, a, an agricultural camp, that will not have a maternity wing that has got all the facilities that one needs to give life. If you brought a, a motion such as that, that by the year end 2024, you'd like every Zambian to give life in sanitary conditions in a proper maternity wing, I'll be the first one to support you. Why would you want a rural health center to, to remain open and even suggest some of the people who move to second your motion, suggest that we must now deploy police officers to guard the nurse and you know very well that when someone is inconvenienced by maybe a stomachache, they, they, in the homes where we live, we have first aid. We do. You don't rush to the hospital simply because you, maybe you, you had food poison. You don't do that. And so even these social growth points, I put it to you, colleague and friend, that every police, sorry, a health center will have a staff living within the vicinity. That is the truth. So if an emergency happens and the matter requires to be referred, they will look for an ambulance and they will take them to a referral hospital. The idea of just keeping health posts open ajar for the nurse to now become a guard, to wait for patients to come at midnight, I think it's, it's colloquial thinking. We must look at where our, our bread is buttered in terms of prioritizing what we need to do for our people. Let us not have adventure of misadventure to bring this issue that involves man hours, that 1,110 health centers, and one th I'm just looking at now the rural MP who said, I'm also a rural MP, by the way, because the greater part of Mazabuka constituency is a rural area. There's no crisis there. There's no crisis about this motion. That I can, I can bet my bottom kwacha. There's no crisis to warrant this August house to sit 
and debate on a non-issue. Who's, who's crying? Who, who, is, who, who is pushing this agenda? It is PF. But PF had their time in, in 10 years. Why didn't they just click it? They know very well that we have, deep, we have got huge challenges regarding expenditure of employing policemen all over the show to guard one nurse who will be working in the night shift. Because of the debt they left us with. I've been told, please, try to be easy, easy on PF about the debt they left us with. It is these same things, Honorable Kangombe, that makes me feel desensitized about the malaise you left with us. And I have to talk to remind you that we still have a debt mountain to clear that you left yourselves here. The act of employing 11,000 nurses within 10 months of being in office should tell you we are a serious group of people. They are on payroll. It should just that alone. I won't even go to the, to the education. Just to employ 11,000 uh, nurses, health, health, front uh, line health workers, Honorable Kangombe, is reason enough that you must try to divert from thinking like this. Bringing this motion here to ask us to just keep every health post, post ajar, open. No. And in any case, if I went into Kamtinsa now, I can assure you I'll find that there's someone ready to attend to an ill person. If I went into Kamtinsa at 14 hours on a Saturday, I will find somebody ready to attend. Unless it's Kamtinsa alone, maybe it requires microscopic attention. We deal with Kamtinsa alone. But don't come with a wide spectrum kind of treatment for an ailment that doesn't exist. There's no nuisance to cure here in this motion that you are bringing to us. I feel saddened because really we should be looking at more challenging things than opening clinics 24 hours just for the heck of it. That's what I would call it. To even try to pick, no, we'll see the rural, what rural? We are all from the rural areas. I'm a headman myself as I speak to you. I look after 200. I look after 268 households in Chief Mwana Chingwara. And we are living in a plain. We are vatwas ourselves. The nearest clinic is about seven kilometers from my own village that I run. This crisis is not there. So if it's not there in Chief Mwana Chingwara, why would it be there where you are coming from? Maybe we need to isolate those areas that are suffering this kind of, and we can deal with it in that manner. To open 1,000 110 health posts just ajar, the whole time, 24-7, 365. It's retrogressive, sincerely speaking. How many people have you recorded that have suffered a serious ailment as a result of not being attended at midnight in your rural area uh, uh, health posts? You may count them from the one palm of your hand. I think that we must, going forward, Mr. Speaker, Try to work. It's not by increasing the number of hours that our health personnel should work that will change the status quo. It's probably the need to increase the number of health personnel in such facilities. Most of the facilities have got no electricity. If we talk of the rural facilities, most of these facilities are in very far places very isolated places. I will, I will not break it. <laughs> no, I, I don't have that energy. So allow me to differ with the move of the motion.